I'm Rebecca Brand, and today we're going to make good old-fashioned plain waffles. This is the easiest recipe in the world, and I've researched it. Let me tell you what's in it. For the dry ingredients, we have flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, and then the wet ingredients today are vanilla extract, eggs, milk, oil, and then we're going to top it off with my favorite, all the good stuff in life, the butter and the syrup. We'll also need pan for the waffle iron. So let's get started. Make sure you turn your waffle iron on because you gotta preheat that. It's gonna be really hot. So let it fly while you're making the rest. You're gonna put in one and three quarter cups of flour, regular white flour, whatever you got. That's the kind to use. One half teaspoon salt, two teaspoons baking powder, and I love the little lips on these things. Look at that. It takes a little topping off and makes it really easy to get a level teaspoonful. One tablespoon sugar. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it flat. And now you're going to mix up your dry ingredients because you don't want somebody to have a whole bite of baking powder. This is my trick for when I want to have one bowl for my creation. And I'm supposed to mix my dry with my wet. I take all my little dry ingredients and say, stay in your lane. Now on this side, we're going to put in three eggs. Oh my gosh, it's a double. Check that out. That's a freak of nature. Very happy with that. That means that was one happy chicken. <laughs> Here's my second egg. I always love when that happens. That means life is happening as it should. And there's my third egg. So. In the wet lane with those happy chickens, put in one half cup of vegetable oil, and today it's canola oil. One half teaspoon, oops, or a little more of vanilla extract, as the case may be. Okay, now let's stir up our wet ingredients. Now that saved a bowl, isn't that great? Cleanup is not my favorite part of cooking. Okay, now we start mixing in our dry. Hey, and don't over mix. You just want to combine those ingredients. And let me tell you why you don't want to over mix. If you get a little lump of flour in there, well, that little lump of flour has got air and it's going to make your waffles more fluffy. Oh, now look at me. I forgot the milk. I need one and three quarter cups of milk. Now, why didn't I notice that before? I think those chickens had me all distracted. So stir that up. Mix it lightly. We want those little hunks of flour and this is why. You want those little extra pockets of air. So once it's combined, we're gonna stop. Okay, step on back, you are ready to go. You need to shake, 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 shake your baking spray and put it all over your little nooks and crannies of your waffle iron. Whee! I'm using one half cup of the batter to go into my waffle iron because I don't want an overflow. That makes a big mess. Now that doesn't seem to be enough, so I'm taking another you know, quarter cup, and I'm putting that in too. If you overfill it, it's gonna drizzle drool out of that pan. You don't want that. Okay, that looks about right. That might have been overkill, and that's one cup with this kind of waffle iron. I have had this waffle iron, oh my gosh, for probably 20 years. They last forever. So get a good one and keep it. This is the deal. This thing is gonna start steaming up. And that's how you know it's cooking. When it stops the steam, that's how you know it's done. It'll take about three minutes, but don't forget and get busy with your eggs and bacon because you don't want your waffle to be dry and too toasted. So there you go. See all that steam coming up? That means it's cooking. If it's steaming, it's having a good time in there. It's gonna give you a nice crunch on the outside. Once that steam stops, that means you've gotten most of the moisture out and then that's when that crust happens. All right, I see that steam slowing down. I think it's ready, let's check. I haven't peaked. Oh my God, hey, perfect. Out it comes, wow, that's beautiful. I'm a butter girl, so I'm gonna put a lot of butter on this. You can do as you see fit, and this ain't about fit today. <laughs> and drizzle, 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 drool. We love cooking school. Time for the bite. Waffle syrup and the butter. That's my favorite bite. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, that is the most fluffy, crispy waffle on the planet. Subscribe to my channel.
and let's keep cooking.